stupid cook try to jump up here and catch up with us. Oh no, unfortunately he caught us. By the way, just look where that player jumped. Wait, seriously? Can we really do it like that? Apparently, we could have done it like that from the very beginning. To find out what's in my room, you need to like and subscribe. Come on, I'm waiting. Well, three, two, one. <laughs> There's a puking Pomni here today. Hello everyone, friends. Today we will escape from Papa Pizza's pizzeria again. Today we will play without Martha and without Mr. Mildenhall because they decided to take a little rest. And therefore, we will play this game with our main team. I love this game very much and I really like it very much. We used to play it very often, but lately for some reason we have forgotten about it very much. Let's remember how cool it is to play it. I really love this game because it is quite difficult but I think we will definitely be able to pass it. You can be sure of it. I am a professional in passing this game, and none of this bothers me at all. I can easily pass all this. I hope that this will really be the case and that you will actually be able to pass all these tests. I was always amazed by these giant traps at the entrance to the warehouse of this Mr. Papa Pizza. Okay, we reached a huge location, and now we will need to escape from him following these pieces of pizza. By the way, here he is. Right now, he is running after us, but this guy has absolutely no chance to catch up with us because we chose the right path. Great! We jumped right into the sewer. Just look how green the water is here. My god, it looks just disgusting. Now I need to make the jump. Oh no! Unfortunately, we accidentally fell down, and now we have to go through it all over again. It seems Jax has forgotten how to play this game a little, because he usually manages to pass all these tests very easily. By the way, just look where that player jumped! Wait, seriously? Can we really do it like that? Okay, I didn't know that, but it looks like that player showed us a secret path. Apparently, we could have done it like that from the very beginning. And now the other players are following us too. Wow, that's really cool. It's really funny that they all decided to repeat our actions. Okay, now we went up the stairs and found ourselves in this toilet. By the way, just look! For some reason his neck is broken. Apparently he doesn't want to watch us anymore. It seems like he's embarrassed by us. It seems like there is nothing left in this room that we can interact with. It's very sad. Okay, it looks like now we need to go to that very room with the spider. In fact, this test is not that difficult either. All we need to do here is just jump over all these webs, and we did it just fine. Okay, now let's go down. There's a task waiting for us here with these pressure plates. The main thing is not to touch them, otherwise these walls will crush us. Here you need to try to be very careful. Unfortunately, we touched the wall and these walls collapsed. Well, I hope we will be able to pass this test on the second try. In fact, it is extremely easy. I don't know why we chose the wrong route from the very beginning, but now we are moving on. Now we need to run up this spiral staircase. By the way, have you noticed that this spiral staircase is very common in various games? Apparently, the developers decide that this is a really difficult test, but we cope with it with ease every time. All we need is to just press the jump button in time. Yes, this test is really quite easy, and we passed it! Excellent! We have passed this test, and now we have entered some room where there is a lot of steam. We will overcome it with ease, too. It is not as difficult as it would seem, and now we need to jump on this ladder and climb up it. I actually don't quite remember where we're going to go now. Cool! We ended up in a room that looks like some kind of utility room, and now we need to go into this room where most likely someone's birthday was taking place. There's quite a fun atmosphere here. If only we didn't know that there's actually a creepy pizza dad running around here. We need to go as carefully as possible. It's good that we know where the exit from here is. The guy is running after us, but we'll jump into the ventilation now and escape from him. Cool. Now we're not afraid of this guy. Okay, now we jump on these pipes. By the way, these pipes are located quite far from each other, and this test really seems a bit difficult to me. But we have done it too often. Oh no. Unfortunately, we touched the laser, and because of that, we lost. Jax, be more collected. I think today you play this game too badly. We died three times already. Finally, we reached this ventilation. Let's go down into it. Okay. We jumped into some room, and it looks like it's some kind of refrigerator. Now we need to take this crowbar and go open this huge rusty door. Now we'll open it and go up the huge elevator. By the way, this room always scared me a lot. Did Daddy Pizza really leave his victims here hanging by their hands and wait until they froze to the bone? It's creepy, but it looks like that's exactly how it was. By the way, I was constantly irritated by the fact that this elevator goes up very slowly. We really will have to go up for a very long time. 
and now we need to get to the top as quickly as possible. I would like this elevator to move a little faster, but unfortunately we can't do that. All we have to do is just wait for it to go up. Oh yeah, it really irritates me too. It's like a long loading time between locations. Cool, finally we got to the top. Now we need to manage to run past these platforms with spikes. You need to be extremely careful here, because this is a dangerous place. And we did it at the wrong time. We ran too late again. Okay, actually, this is also quite a difficult test, but we will cope with it. Okay, now let's wait. Great, now we can run. Cool, we passed these giant spikes. Well, that was really quite difficult. And now we need to jump on these rusty pipes, and then we need to run on these conveyor belts. Actually, that's also quite a difficult test. Okay, and now we have reached the conveyor belt on which these bones and other human limbs are constantly rolling down. But we were also able to jump past them. And now we have finally reached the door with the exit from here. By the way, it's cool that here again, this bug is not repeated, in which there was no elevator here, because the last times when we played this game, this elevator was not here, and we had to jump into the lava in order to respawn here. Now, we are lucky, and now, we can go further. We finally made it to this dungeon. Okay, let's move on. By the way, it's almost the end of the game. We always go through this game too quickly. Maybe it's just too short. Okay, we've reached the stairs. Now we need to climb up them and then we'll need to go forward. I was always amazed that there is lava here. In general, we are quite close to the exit, and it seems to me that there should be such a temperature here at which this lava should remain hot. Now we need to make the most careful jump because the distance here is quite large. Oh no, unfortunately we accidentally fell down. Apparently we didn't have enough jumping strength. Oh no, unfortunately we fell into it. Oh my god, this is actually quite difficult too because you have to make a really big jump here. But we couldn't do it again. I think the developers wanted the players to really try really hard here. And on the third try, we finally got through it. Well, okay, now let's jump on these blocks and head straight to the exit. Cool. We finally made it to the exit, but now one of the hardest challenges in this game awaits us. Now we'll have to run through this whole dark forest without this pizza chef catching us. Oh yeah, I remember this level. This guy will really try very hard to catch up with us. We need to choose the optimal route so that he won't be able to do it. I hope we can do it on the first try because this challenge is really hard. Oh no, he found us and now he's running right after us. We'll find the exit on the first try. I can already see those boxes we'll have to jump on. Great! We finally escaped him. Just look at how he keeps trying to grab us! But this guy still doesn't know that he won't succeed! We can even tease him! Haha! <laughs> Stupid cook! Try to jump up here and catch up with us! Oh no! Unfortunately he caught us! Oh my god! That was a rash decision! We shouldn't have teased him! We should have just jumped down! Okay, let's try to escape from him again! We almost succeeded! But unfortunately that guy grabbed us through the boxes at the wrong time! Okay, is running after us. Let's speed up. I'm actually surprised that he actually manages to do it. Okay, we finally ran to the boxes for the second time. And now we're definitely escaping from him. Great, we were finally able to complete this game. Well, I think it's time to head straight to the next game. This is a very cool game that is based on how you actually understand the rhythm of this game. I think that we have absolutely no problems with this, so we should definitely go to the first level with you without any problems. This game is really cool. I remember how I played it as a child. I really like it very much, and I think that more difficult levels will still be unavailable for us. Now, we will try to pass the first level for a warm-up because we haven't played this game for a long time. But I think that this should not greatly affect the stage of our passage. Bro, there's something weird going on with your voice. I think we should fix your microphone because it sounds too weird. And I think it's bothering our viewers. Oh no, we only got 51% of it on the first try. Maybe Jax got a little confused because he missed the coin that was at the very bottom. In order to get it, you had to not make one of the jumps. But it looks like he did it anyway, and now we have to go through this level again. We'll definitely be able to pass this level without any problems on the second try. The main thing for us now is to just concentrate on not dying. I hope that we'll definitely be able to pass the first level on the second try. By the way, it is much easier to play this game on a computer than on a phone because the screen is much larger and you can see all the obstacles. Yes, I also think that playing this game on a computer is much more convenient because it is actually much easier to press the space bar than to click on the screen and block part of your view. 
Great. We got one of the coins that we didn't get last time, and now we're moving on. Okay. This time we've already gone much further, and I think that now we should be able to complete this entire game. This level has become a little more difficult. Yes! This level really feels much more difficult the further we go through it. By the way, we missed another coin. Apparently, we are not destined to collect all the coins in this game. Probably, it is because we are still playing really cool. But we have already passed quite a lot. I really like this result. Perhaps it means that we will be able to pass this game much better. We were able to pass the first level. It wasn't that hard. We passed it only on the second try. And by the way, it looks like there are three coins here and we missed them all. But I think we should try to pass the second level. It shouldn't be a difficult test for us either, because the difficulty level of this level is the easiest. I think we should be able to handle this level at least on the second try, because it's actually just as easy as the first level of this game. I don't think it will take us more than two tries to complete it, but still. Oh no. Unfortunately, we only completed 18% the first time. I think this means it may take us many more tries to complete this game. But for now, let's just focus as much as possible on continuing to progress through the game. By the way, it seems to me that Jax may even be bothered by the fact that we talk very often because it can slightly confuse him. Perhaps he doesn't hear the rhythm of this game well. I think that he should muffle us and concentrate more on this game. Okay, we've already gone far enough. It seems that this time our result should be 100%. By the way, it's good that this time we're not concentrating on finding coins, because coins won't help us in any way now. Okay, we're moving on. Yes, it seems to me that searching for coins in this game is an absolutely pointless exercise, because all we get for these coins is new skins. And I think that we definitely don't need skins in this game, because we play it alone, and no one except us will see this skin. Therefore, there is no point in them. And unfortunately, this time we only managed to get through 70% of this level. I think we should find something else. Maybe we should choose a more difficult level like this one. Let's see how we can actually handle it. Oh no! Only 4%! We didn't know what this portal was doing, but apparently it was changing our direction of movement or something like that. Each portal had some symbol drawn on it, and we had to look at them to get through it. In fact, this level really feels much more difficult because there are a lot of obstacles here that are quite difficult to overcome. And to be honest, I can't even make a single jump in this corridor because I am extremely unusual to see this inverted physics. Bro, don't give up! You will definitely be able to overcome all these obstacles! Okay, I understand that now I need to concentrate better. It's not as difficult as it seems, but for some reason we can't get past 8% in this game. Apparently this level is too difficult for us. Okay, let's try to choose something else because it's really very difficult to move forward. Maybe this level will be more accessible for us. But in fact, it seems to me that we may also have problems with passing it. We have passed only 12% of this level now. And to be honest, it is quite difficult to focus on everything that is happening here. I thought this level would be a little easier than the previous one. But to be honest, I don't feel it as such yet. It's very dynamic, and passing the tests in this level is really not as easy as it seemed at first glance. Okay, we've already gone a little further, and here we needed to jump a little later, when there are three spikes in a row. It's very difficult to pass this game, but I hope that we will still succeed. 14%. This is not such a bad result. After all, we are playing this level for the first time. By the way, we already played Geometry Dash a long time ago. Our subscribers like this game. I hope that everyone will like it this time too. But unfortunately we can't show the coolest results in this game because we play it very rarely. It would be great if our viewers liked the games we play every day. You can try playing some games like Dota or something like that. We have already passed 15%. And it seems to me that they show a pretty good result in this game. We just need to concentrate on the sounds and press the jump button in time. But unfortunately, this does not always work. In general, in fact, this game is quite difficult. And it seems to me that in order to learn how to play it, you need to spend a lot of attempts. I can't imagine what kind of reaction you need to have to complete this game 100%. It seems to me that only some crazy people who spend a huge number of hours in this game are capable of this. To be honest, it seems to me that it is too late for us to learn how to play this game. 
because there are definitely players in it who play it much better than us. Okay, 17% this time. That's a pretty good result. At this point, we should try to get acquainted with another level. For example, with this one, maybe it will be a little easier. Okay, we're moving forward. The game is really starting to irritate me a little because we managed to completely complete the easiest level in this game. Yes, we really managed to complete 100% only the very first level in this game, and this really surprises me a lot. It seems that here we need more effort. But by the way, here we were able to pass as much as 20%, and it seems to me that this is a pretty good indicator. I think that here we can try a little more in order to try to pass the level completely. I think we need at least 20 attempts in order for us to really be able to complete this level completely, because it seems difficult. Well, now we need to move forward. Maybe we'll have more luck in this level. But unfortunately, for some reason, we were only able to complete the level by 21%. Well, I think now there will be a final attempt, and I hope that during this attempt we'll be able to complete the level at least halfway. I'm surprised Jax even has the patience to complete this level completely, because I would have given up a long time ago. And so we show quite a good result. Now the main thing is to just listen to the music and move on. Okay, just look. We are already really further, but unfortunately we managed to complete this game only 24%. Well, I think it's time to head straight to the next game after we die here again. Yeah, I think it's time for another game. Wait, is that me? Wow, I look really weird here. We're finally playing a mode about us. I'm really upset that I've never seen us in these modes. I would really like to see myself in Roblox. Oh yeah, I totally agree with you. I would really like it if you and I were inside this game right now. I would be really happy if I saw my 3D model or something like that here. Guys! I think we will be able to see you here soon, because not much time has passed since the release of the last episode of our animated series. Yes, last time we waited a long time for the Candy Princess Luli Lalu and the Jelly Crocodile Gummy Goo to be added to Roblox and other games. So I think you won't have to wait long here either. I really hope so, but to be honest, I think they definitely won't add me to this game because I was only on camera for 30 seconds in the last episode because someone sucked me into a damn vacuum cleaner. I didn't think such a small ghost could be so vindictive. Okay guys, let's slightly change the focus vector to something else. Because it seems to me that we've already forgotten that right now we're playing a game. I enjoyed discussing this. I'm actually really curious how long we'll have to wait for these guys to be added to the game. They really look really cool for a horror mode or something like that. Well yeah! I think it would be really cool if they added something like some kind of horror mode. For example, Roblox doors or some other. Okay, okay. Let's explore the ventilation now. Finally, we can concentrate on the game instead of continuing this useless discussion. Okay, now we are moving to some weird red vent. Have you ever seen a red vent? Maybe it's just rusty. So now we are in another location and it looks like now we will need to run away from the first boss. I wonder who it will be. Oh, just look. Guys, I think you can pause the video right now and write in the comments who was the first boss in this game. Oh, I didn't expect that I would be the first boss in this game, but it seems that I have extremely low intelligence in this game because it seems that I just hit a wall and stopped running after the character. Okay, let's take this key now and go straight to the door that we need to open. Okay, I wouldn't want to be a character like that because I wouldn't want my little intelligence to be shown in my game, but it looks like it's just a tribute to the characters. Okay. Let's now go to the next location, and we're now in some kind of gym. It looks like this gym hasn't been changed at all except for the fact that they just added red color to the textures. In general, this location really hasn't been changed at all. Wait, what happened? I think someone made a mistake again and made an omission in this game, which is why we have a bug again. Every time we play these modes, this bug happens and it's really weird. Now we need to go down the zip line. Wait, seriously? Was that texture opaque? Oh my god, it looks like the developers really screwed up a lot in this game. Oh my god, there really are too many stupid bugs in this game. Okay, I hope we can still beat this game because it's the most. It's weird that we have to fly through this texture and land on time. It's really quite difficult here too. This is really starting to piss me off. Wow. Wait, seriously? We managed to save here? Okay, this game is really weird, but it looks like we can finally progress through it. Okay, now we need to jump on these ramps and move on. As far as I remember, there will be a basketball test here. Yes, that's exactly it. 
Interesting. I think we can do a slam dunk like in basketball by jumping on a basketball hoop and throwing the ball right there. Great. We were able to do it. It was really very easy. Now it looks like we need to escape from Boss Jax. Good thing we move very fast and can run fast, and he has absolutely no chance to catch up with us. We very quickly ended up in the ventilation, and now we need to pass all the subsequent tests. Wow! The developers added some huge red spiral here, but we easily ran past it. Now we need to climb up this wind tunnel and avoid collisions with all the lasers. I don't think it will be difficult for us. Great! We were able to do it again! And now we need to jump into the ventilation. By the way, I really like the fact that we continue to run at super speed. It seems to me that no one can take it away. I really hope that this will allow us to complete this game much faster and maybe even set a record for completing it. Okay, now we need to drink an energy drink and start this run. It seems to me that we had a pretty high speed of movement back then, with the help of which we would definitely be able to pass this test without any problems. But I think it's better to play it safe and still drink this energy drink. Maybe it even made us faster? Okay, now let's try to pass this test. I think this game doesn't allow us to jump that high, and sometimes that's why we fly over some platforms. Oh no, God. Seriously? Why did we fall down again? Apparently the controls are really complicated and Jax can't quite handle it. Okay, I guess he'll be more careful in the future. It seems that Jax is really in a hurry to complete this game, and because of this he makes some mistakes. But I think that he will not make them anymore. And now we will complete this game without dying even once. Now the main thing is to complete this long test, and then we will go forward. Wow. There are really a lot of platforms here, and jumping on them is really quite difficult. But Jax still coped with this challenge. Apparently it was very easy for him. And right now we need to win the race on these little cool cars. Okay. Now let's wait for the traffic light and try to overtake her. Although I think we won't have any problems with this. Wait, why did her car start earlier? It seems to me that this is a little unfair. But nevertheless, I don't think that she will still be able to overtake us because we know perfectly well what we need to do here in order to be ahead. Yes, we are already ahead of her and I don't think she will be able to overtake us. Cool! We are specialists in these races, and we always manage to be ahead. In fact, this is one of the most fun tests because it is quite easy, but there is a lot of action in it. Oh yeah, I totally agree with you. This challenge is really one of my favorites in these modes. Well, I really hope that our pursuer won't be able to overtake us, and we'll still end up ahead of her. I really want to win this race, and I don't want to replay it. I don't think she'll be able to overtake us because we're already approaching that door. Great! I can already see the finish line ahead and I think we've won. That's great! We ended up ahead of her, but I had absolutely no chance of overtaking her. Well, now we need to go up that pipe and then we'll be one step away from finally escaping the school. Okay, now you can go through these platforms and then we have a fight with the final boss. I really hope that this boss will be quite interesting and we will defeat him not very easily. I think the bosses in these games are pretty hard. Wow, just look. It turns out the final boss is Jax the robot and we'll have to fight him now. I wonder what kind of weapon we'll get. Now we will fight against him with a straw. Okay, I think this is a pretty good weapon because it is pretty fast firing and we destroy him very quickly. Wow, great! We defeated him very quickly and this is really cool. Well, this game had quite a lot of bugs, but nevertheless, this game was quite interesting because it had a lot of cool challenges that I really liked. And also, we ran very fast here, and so we were able to complete this game quite quickly. And now I think it's time to move on to the next game. I really hope that I will be able to understand all the rules of this game as I go along. Okay, buddy, let's get started. By the way, you and I have already played this game, and to be honest, I really liked it. This game has a pretty creepy atmosphere but I think this atmosphere should be liked by absolutely everyone. Maybe you could stop being distracted by all this nonsense and help me explain the rules to everyone? Yes, I would also really like to understand what we are actually playing today because I don't understand absolutely anything yet. In short, guys, here you need to take turns choosing who to shoot, either yourself or your opponent. In this case, we shot ourselves and lost one horsepower. In fact, the chance that the cartridge was live was very small. Okay, looks like it's my turn now, and now I need to choose who to shoot. I'll shoot Jax. Okay, now we know that we only have a blank cartridge left, and so I can shoot you or myself, and it will change absolutely nothing. I think I'd rather shoot myself so that I have the next move. 
I think I'm finally starting to understand the rules of this game, and apparently it's not that difficult. Well, okay. By the way, it's even a little surprising that so far Mr. Mildenhall is beating Jax. You understand the rules of the game only for now. Then in the next rounds, these people will have items with which they will be able to behave in some unusual way. For example, add an extra move to themselves or restore health points. Okay. Looks like one game won't be enough for me to fully understand the rules of the game. Well, let's continue to watch what's happening. Now it looks like Mr. Mildenhall didn't quite understand the rules either. And right now, he shot himself in the head. I just didn't guess what bullet was actually inside, and now Jax is going to shoot me. Wait, seriously? Looks like I lost. Okay, looks like we're heading straight to the next round right now. Yes, right now you are moving on to the next round. And there we will already see new items, with the help of which the course of the game will really begin to change a little. Now the game will start to get really much more interesting. I think now we should explain what the items are for in this game. Okay, let's get the first item and see what we got. So what do we have in this box? Let's take a look at these items. It looks like we have two packs of cigarettes. And by the way, these packs of cigarettes restore health. Okay, I think I now have two chances to get an extra bullet in the head. And I got some strange knife and handcuffs. And by the way, now you and I have a 50-50 chance because one bullet is blank and one bullet is live. I really hope I'll be lucky. Wait, Jax, why did you use the cigarette? It can't restore more than four health points to you. I think you did it for nothing. Okay, now you also fired a blank at Mr. Meldenhall, and now he can definitely do some serious damage to you. I think now I should use this knife and saw off part of the barrel of this gun because I read what this knife does, and now I do double damage to Jax. Great. Now he only has two health points left, and he also smoked an extra pack of cigarettes in vain, and therefore he only has a chance to restore one health point. Bro, I'm just giving in to you because you're a new player here. Well, okay, now we'll get new items, and now I got handcuffs and some weird piece of paper. Oh no! I think this is by chance not the item I need. Okay, we got a magnifying glass, and now we'll start the next round, which will have two live rounds and two blanks. Wow! I'm surprised you remember that so much! Well, okay, it looks like the game is going to be even more interesting now. Let's see what steps the guys will take in this game. I think the ideal move for Jax would be to restore his health and see what kind of bullet is actually inside the shotgun. Yes, that sounds logical. Okay, let's check what kind of cartridge is actually in there, and I think it would be a great idea to use handcuffs to tie up Mr. Meldenhall's hands so we can shoot him in the next round. Jax, for some reason, decided to shoot himself, and it looks like he got lucky. And by the way, we knew what kind of cartridge was actually in the shotgun. Okay, now let's try to shoot Mr. Meldenhall and we were able to damage him. Great. Well, it looks like the score is now tied and now we are in for a really interesting game. Okay, now Mr. Mylenhall can free his hands. And then I think Jax should shoot someone. Although it looks like he decided to shoot himself. Bro, I think that was too rash a move. Now you have less HP and now I think something interesting awaits us. Well, my friend, finally I can free my hands. Okay, I guess now I'm going to shoot myself right in the head. Okay, this bullet turned out to be a blank. Great, this is exactly what I wanted. Now it's time to get new items. Okay, I got another pack of cigarettes and another pack of cigarettes. It looks like now I have the opportunity to restore all the HP that I have again. And now we have new cartridges, three of which will be combat and two blanks. I think now it will be better for me to restore all my HP so that I can play this game well. I think now is the time to take a risk. When you have the same amount of HP, you can try shooting yourself. And this cartridge turned out to be a blank. Great. Now we know that there are three live rounds and two blanks in the clip. Wait, seriously? It turns out we fired all the blanks we had and now, buddy, I can strap you in and... Wait, what did I just do? Oh no, my god. That beer takes the bullets out of the shotgun and I wasted two out of three live rounds. I could have killed you right now. Jax, it looks like it's not you who's giving in here, but Mr. Mildenhall. Okay, you have almost equal chances of winning, and now that Jax's hands are free, we can get new items from here and try to even the score. We have new items! Now we can use the knife again. And by the way, now we have three live rounds and three blanks in the clip. Well, let's see how the guys use the items they have. I think that right now I should use a cigarette in order to restore my HP, and so that the amount of our HP is equal. 
And now I decide to take a risk and shoot myself. I don't think this will be the best solution. But let's see what comes out of it. Okay. Apparently, now we have two live rounds and three blanks in the clip. Now let's see what happens next in this game. I think I'm slowly starting to understand the rules of the game. Okay, now Mr. Mildenhall decided to shoot himself. And apparently in this way, he decided to even the score. Well, now we know that they have the same amount of HP, and it seems to me that just one shot can decide the outcome of this game. Well, my friend, I'm betting all my bets on this shot, and I think there's a live round in the clip right now. I hope I can get a kill from you. Oh, no. Wait, seriously. This round was a blank. Well, it looks like the heat is still on in this game. Words cannot describe how tense I was right now. Well, now I'll leave all bets on this shot and I hope that I can kill you. Okay, let's see what kind of cartridge I have in the clip. This game is really very exciting. Well, let's see. Okay, it looks like Jax had a blank cartridge too. Okay, this game is really getting to the maximum scary. And now Mr. Milden Hall will shoot Jax. Looks like we know who's going to win. But now we need to see what items both players will get. I hope these items will actually help one of them win. Let's see what Jax got. I'm really scared right now. I really want to win today. Okay, I got a magnifying glass and a knife. Well, now I think I should bet on one single shot. I need to check what cartridge will be next inside this gun. This is a great idea. I think this is exactly what you should do right now. By the way, there are really a lot of live ammunition in this game, and the chances that you will kill are really great. Wait, seriously? A blank cartridge? Okay, I think right now we should strap Mr. Meldenhall down and shoot ourselves in the head with this cartridge. And the next shot will definitely fire right at him, after sawing off part of the barrel. Excellent! Now I know that I have definitely won! Now let's saw off part of this barrel and shoot Mr. Meldenhall right now. After all, I know that the chances of victory are very high. Excellent! I beat him in the second round. And if our viewers like this game, we will definitely record the continuation of our fight with him. And right now, let's move straight to the next game. The design of this game is starting to scare me. Okay, let's see who comes out of that door. Looks like this is our character's mom. Apparently she came home from work and she's late again. Her expression looks extremely creepy. God, I wouldn't want to have a mother like that. Okay, it looks like mom wants us to help her with something. But apparently she forgot that our hero has a birthday today. Oh my God, they seem like they really are horrible parents. How can anyone forget their child's birthday? She didn't even buy her son a present. Okay, this guy's birthday is hopelessly ruined. She tells us about some Mr. Red-Faced. Apparently this guy secretly leaves birthday presents for different children. This is the first time I've heard of such a guy, and to be honest, I don't really like his name. I wouldn't accept presents from such people. In general, it's quite strange that she shifted her responsibility to some mystical mister, but it looks like this is the only hope for our character. By the way, his father appeared here, and it looks like our father is even worse than our mother. He swears at our mother, and she tries to justify herself. God, this man is really disgusting! He also says bad words! I think he should learn manners and communication with his family. Just look at the way he calls our character. Oh my god, I think this guy really has bad luck with his parents. Why did he tell us to go to our room right now, and I think we need to do that now while they're sorting things out between each other? Okay, they're not reacting to us, and I think it's time to go straight to our room and go to bed. And their apartment looks extremely creepy, and just look at the lighting here. Lord, it seems to me that this child cannot grow up in such an apartment emotionally and mentally healthy. By the way, we just got into our parents' bedroom, but this is not the place where we needed to go. Oh my god! This guy's room looks even worse! Just look at how everything looks in here! This guy really only has a bed, a TV, a closet, and a table with a chair. God, I think this is a really horrible place. Okay, I hope the place will be nice after we wake up. But to be honest, I would be very afraid to fall asleep in such a room. The lighting is disgusting. Oh my god, I really hope no one shows up at that door. I really don't want to get scared. Oh my god, what was that sound? It sounds like it's starting to rain outside. Bro, are you really afraid of something? You know how to send people to hell? Wait, now I'm getting scared too. I hear some footsteps. It looks like they're heading straight for us. Okay, I think someone is opening our door. Oh my god, it's the silhouette of some strange man. 
Oh my god, dude, get away from us, please. You're scaring me so much. Wait, could this be the same Mr. Redface we were told about at the beginning of the game? It looks like he brought us some kind of gift. I don't believe this can really be true. It looks like he took something to this closet. Or he is going to leave our room through this closet. Okay, it's finally morning. Wait, it seems to me that there is absolutely nothing in this closet. But there is a box near our bed with some strange doll in it. Okay, looks like at least this guy got some kind of present for his birthday. Wait, is that a talking doll? Oh my god, that looks super creepy. Okay, this guy is telling us that he can talk because he's made of magic and some master created him. Everything that happens in this game is starting to scare me very seriously. God, I hope that there won't be any more strange moments like this here. Well, okay. Apparently we need to talk to this doll now, and it looks like she'll be our friend now. This doll says that we need to look at something in the closet. Last time that creepy guy left through this closet. Oh no, wait! It looks like this closet is stuck! Oh my god! I think something really creepy is starting to happen here. We can't open this closet and apparently there's nothing we can do about it! And we tried everything we can do, but it seems that we can't open this closet anymore? Okay, this doll says that she is hungry. It is quite strange that the doll has a feeling of hunger, and she tells us that she is completely and entirely connected with us, and all her senses are also connected with us. Oh my god, there really are some really scary things going on in this game. Okay, let's head straight to our kitchen and try to eat there now. By the way... That table in our room looks absolutely awful. It seems to me that it's impossible to work at such a table. It looks like our parents' bedroom is locked, too. Okay, let's go and see what food is in the fridge. By the way, there's some note here that says our mom cooked our favorite dish for us. Okay, let's now take this dish and try to eat it. I think first we need to free our hands. We need to seat the doll at this table, and then we need to take this dish and find something so we can heat it up. I think the most logical way would be to use a microwave. It's strange that this family has absolutely nothing in the house, but they do have a microwave. Okay. Apparently, this is the only thing our evil father decided to fork out for. Okay. Now let's eat some food with this doll. It seems that our doll didn't know that this is our favorite dish. Now we need to eat it. This guy says he can make us an endless plate of this food. Wow, looks like this doll is really magical. Well, let's see if he can really do it. Wow, after we finished all the food, it reappeared on our plate. I would like a plate like this in real life. I don't think we really need such a plate because there is actually an endless supply of food. Yes, it's not that tasty, but nevertheless, we have such a thing. By the way, just look, this guy can lift a bottle using levitation. But this looks really weird. My god, this guy really scares me a little. It looks like he decided to drink a little from this bottle. Okay, this looks really weird too. I hope he doesn't do anything with that bottle because our father will scold us. Oh my god, what just happened? I was really scared. Who was that? Oh no, it looks like this guy broke this bottle. Apparently our father is going to scold us very badly. It seems to me that a very serious punishment awaits us, and I hope that our father does not wake up now to beat us. Wait, what? This doll said that Mr. Redface made sure to get our father out of here. Let's check quickly whether he is in our parents' bedroom or not. Something strange is starting to happen in this game. To be honest, it really scares me. Yes, our father is not in this bedroom. It looks like the doll was right. Mr. Redface took our father to some unknown place. We need to urgently find out from this doll where he took him, and how we can get him back. You know, it seems to me that we shouldn't bring this father back because he was constantly swearing at our character and constantly beating him. Maybe this guy really deserves to be kidnapped and hidden somewhere. It seems that our character still loved his father very much, despite all his shortcomings, and now he really wants to know how to bring his father back. I hope that this doll can help us with this, and we can really see our father again. Okay, this guy is telling us that the shortcut to our dad is through our closet. Well, it looks like we'll have to try opening the closet in our room again. I hope we can actually do it this time. Just look, the doll is pointing right at him. Okay, I'm really getting scared to play this game. Why couldn't we open this closet again? Now we'll have to find some other way to find our father. And by the way, this doll tells us that we can use our parents' closet. Apparently, the closets in this game are really magical.
Let's go back to our parents' bedroom and try to get back into this strange, otherworldly world that this doll is telling us about. Well, I think right now we should open this closet and try to move to another place. He says that with the help of cabinets, you can teleport absolutely anywhere. Let's see where we can actually go. This cabinet looks like a very ordinary cabinet, and it doesn't seem to me that with its help, we can move anywhere. It looks like this doll forgot about some conditions. We need an activator for our mover, and we need to take a radio, which we will put right in front of this cabinet. And apparently, with the help of this radio, we will really be able to tune the cabinet to the right wave. Everything that's happening in this game is really starting to scare me and make me wary. We're really going to teleport somewhere using the radio. Well, let's tune the radio to the right frequency and see where we can go. Okay, it looks like this wave really suits us. Just listen to the sounds that are being made. Yes, it seems to me that I would really like to go to this forest, but it looks like this is not the place where we need to go. Okay, let's try switching the radio to another wave and look at the next place. Oh my god! No! I don't think this is what we need at all! Just look at this creepy doll! My god, she scared me so much! Let's quickly switch to some other wave and go where we need to go. I really hope that now there will be a suitable wave for us. Okay, it looks like we really got to where we need to be, and right now, we need to go to this white portal. But I think that we will see what is inside in the next part of our video about this game. And now let's go straight to the next game. Let's first take a look around this house. My god, this house has the strangest construction. Just look at this giant strange tower with boarded up doors. I think only a crazy person would live in such a house. Although in reality, this house is quite gigantic. Isn't this house too much for him? Wait, what is this room? These strange mannequins are whispering to us. I think this house looks even scarier than Mr. Mildenhall's house. Okay, well let's continue exploring around it. I think it will be even scarier from the inside. I'm really curious what this guy is hiding inside this house. I'm even scared to imagine what he could be doing inside this house. Just look at how huge it is. It seems to me that half the city could be settled there. There are a lot of rooms there, and I really want to see everything that is in this house. But first, I think we should go back to where we started and take all the possible loot that is lying on these strange boxes. There are quite a lot of different items here. For example, this strange key that we need to figure out how to take. Oh, great! Finally, we found the button to interact with items. Well, we took the key, binoculars, and some other strange things. I hope they will really come in handy in our walkthrough of this game. But I think we should explore all these items much better. Maybe there is something else here that we need to take. I think there are no more objects left here that we can interact with, and now is the time to go straight to your house. It looks like we need to activate some kind of lever here. And then using the key that we have in our inventory, we need to open this lock. By the way, this is a pretty strange lock. Usually no one hangs a padlock directly on their door. Perhaps these are some special precautions from this strange neighbor. In general, I do not understand how we ended up in this house and why we are here. But perhaps we have only recently moved and our character is overcome by the thirst to find out what is really going on with this neighbor. Okay, now we need to find some way how we can get inside our own house, and it seems to me that we again forgot about which button we can use to interact with objects here. Bro, I think we need to press the button that is not slightly higher. Great, finally we were able to open this door and right now our character is going to sleep. Apparently this is how we saved in this place. Okay, let's further explore our entire house and see what else is here. It looks like there's another weird door here. It's boarded up and has a red padlock on it. Okay, it looks like we can still take the boxes that are in our house. And apparently they can be useful to us somehow. Well, I think we've explored our entire house and by the way, now we should take the burger that's on this nightstand. We might also need it if our character suddenly gets hungry. Well, it seems to me that we have taken the maximum possible amount of loot, and now it's time to head straight to this strange house. And by the way, we can also take the items that are located here on the street. It's pretty strange that our character really takes absolutely all the items that are here, but apparently they will really be useful to us someday. Well, it looks like there is nothing more useful here. The only thing that can be useful for us is this huge red car. I would gladly move this red car to another place to live away from this creepy house. Bro, is there really anything in this world that can scare you? You know how to send people to hell. I'm very surprised that this house scares you so much because from the outside it doesn't look that scary. 
By the way, I agree with you. This house really doesn't look that scary from the outside. There are even some very beautiful flowers growing here. By the way, here's our neighbor. This guy looks very thin, and it looks like he's walking around this house, and it's very dangerous for us to go into this house. After all, this guy can do absolutely anything to us. Anyway, it seems to me that our main task is to get inside this house, because this house looks extremely mysterious and interesting, and it seems to me that this is the point of this game. But to be honest, I would not really like to enter this house through the main door, and we need to find some kind of bypass inside. It seems to me that we found some strange door, but to be honest, I don't really want to go in there either, because it seems to me that it's very dangerous there. So now is the time to go inside, straight through the main door of the house. By the way, just look. This neighbor walked right past us, but it seems to me that he didn't notice us. Okay, let's immediately go to the second floor and see what's here. This house has the strangest layout. We found ourselves in some strange room, but it looks like there is absolutely nothing interesting here. Okay, I think we'll leave this box right here, and then we should look at everything that is in this house. I think there really should be something else interesting here. Okay, there's another interesting door here. By the way, it looks like we can speed up when we walk. Okay, we can't open this door. That's why we should open the door opposite it. Oh my god, there are really a lot of rooms here. It seems to me that exploring them all will be a very difficult task. Oh my god, I think I'm already lost in this house. Why does this skinny man need such a gigantic house? Does he really visit every room every day? This is really the most stupid! It looks like some kind of giant labyrinth! Oh my god, we ended up in some extremely strange room and it looks like there is some kind of acid or something like that here. It looks like he dissolves the bodies of his victims that he kills here. This sounds extremely strange, but this is the only explanation for why he has this room in the house. Unfortunately, we can't take anything from here and we can't interact with anything here. So it seems to me that this room is extremely useless. Well, it looks like there's some kind of closet here and we can hide in this closet. Okay, I hope we don't need this closet because I wouldn't really want this guy to catch us. Okay. I think there's absolutely nothing else here, and we should continue exploring this house further. Let's explore the rest of the rooms here. I hope this guy doesn't attack us while we continue to explore the second floor of his house. But by the way, it looks like both doors that are on the second floor don't open at all. Well, for that reason, I think we should stop exploring because I don't really want to go down. I think this guy will immediately catch us and attack us. I think sitting in the closet all this time is not the best idea either. So I suggest getting out of it and still trying to go down. It seems to me that exploring these doors is absolutely useless. After all, they definitely don't open. And by the way, we really do have quite a lot of items in our inventory, but I don't think we should use them now because we don't even know their direct purpose. It looks like there really is nothing else here that we haven't explored yet, so I think we should go down. I really hope that this neighbor doesn't find us at this point. By the way, we got to his garage and it looks like there are some buttons and levers here. I think we should use this button. By the way, look. It looks like we opened an additional entrance to his house. Now we can get into his house through the garage. Now I'm extremely scared to go into his house. I hope this guy won't attack us. By the way, he has a crowbar, a trap, and a shovel here. But unfortunately, we can't take them. Oh my god, we opened the door and this guy ran straight towards us. I was very scared because of this. And for some reason, the most scary music started playing here. But now we know that this guy is a real psychopath and he will chase us in order to kill us. Okay, we forgot that we can speed up our movement. But in this game, everything moves really too fast. Well, we should try to get into his house a second time and I hope that we will not meet this guy again. Because I was really scared last time. This looks like some kind of boiler room. There's a lever here. Oh my god. That guy is chasing us again. Well, I think that's enough of this game for us today. We've explored enough in it, so I suggest we move straight on to the next game. Wow, you presented this game very formally. Okay, I think it's time to get into this creepy elevator. Wait, what just happened? I didn't understand what I saw at all. Okay, looks like this elevator is really going to be the scariest. I'm already very scared of all the design in this game. I hope that this design will not scare us so much in the future. Okay, it looks like our elevator has stopped somewhere. Wait, what room is this? This room is really extremely scary and there is some very creepy image on the TV. Wait, it's some kind of monster. It's that same girl from that scary movie. It looks like she is hunting here for all the players. 
We better hide around the corner. Yes, this is a really great idea because this monster runs really fast. More precisely, this girl. And in general, she looks extremely creepy. God, I don't even know what we should do here. She really runs here like crazy. Thank God we were able to survive this floor. Lord, I didn't even hope that we would be able to hide here because it seemed to me that this girl would definitely catch up with us. Look, we're on the next floor and it looks like SpongeBob's underwater world. Oh my God, this guy is the creepiest. He has huge black eyes with red dots and it looks like he's going to hit other players. Okay, I think what we need to do now is find some perfect position and hide from this guy. Look, we ended up near Patrick's house. I think it's the perfect place to hide from SpongeBob, but it looks like he's running around somewhere nearby. Because I can hear his voice, we need to find some better shelter. For example, right on top of his house. I think on top of the pineapple, he definitely wouldn't find us. Great! We were able to get to the next floor. I didn't think we'd actually be able to hide from SpongeBob. Look! On the next floor, there is some strange, incomprehensible guy with a stick in his hands. Wait. Now the light went out, and when he appeared again, this guy disappeared. Okay. I noticed that there are coins in this game. And I think that we should start exploring this location to find coins. Maybe they will help us buy something. By the way, there's some kind of water tower here. Wait, there's also some kind of hatch here. Oh, it looks like we're back in the lobby. Well, okay. I think this is the perfect chance to find out what we can spend the coins we've saved up on. By the way, I'm interested to know how many we have. I think we need to find out right now. It turns out that there are three different types of currency here. And it looks like coins are the top type. Okay, it looks like we bought some weird spring. And with the help of this spring, we run much faster. But we still have some money left, so I think now we need to find something we can spend it on. I think we should spend our stars that we have. Great, we just spent a star and got some kind of stick. It looks like with this stick we can, we can become invisible. Okay, I think. Now with all these boosts, it's time to go explore this game further. Okay, we're back in the elevator and it looks like the game has already begun. The guys are hiding from Slenderman in this forest. Oh no, wait, what? He just appeared right next to us and scared me real bad. This guy is really creepy. I'm really surprised by how calmly you reacted to this because I jumped out of my chair when I saw this guy next to us. He's really creepy. In general, all the Slenderman games always scared me. Okay, now we're going to the next floor. And here we are on the next floor. Okay, let's see what awaits us here. By the way, I think we shouldn't forget that we can use the spring. And it's also really cool that we didn't lose this spring after we died, because I thought that our entire inventory would update immediately after our death. Look, one of the players climbed to the very top of the tree. I think we should also try to climb right there because this monster is running around near us. We urgently need to find a way to get up there. And by the way, it seems to me that this monster ran away in some other direction. We are very lucky because of this. Okay, we jumped to the top of this tree and became invisible. Thanks to this, we managed to avoid meeting this monster and we are going to the next floor. We got to the next floor. Wait, are you serious? This is the location where Freddy the Bear and all the other animatronics will probably be? God, I'm so scared of Five Nights at Freddy's. I recently watched a Let's Play on YouTube for this game, and it seems extremely creepy to me. In fact, in this game, you shouldn't be so afraid of them, because here they are not as scary as in the original game. At least they definitely won't appear as suddenly as they did in the game about themselves. Okay, here we need to be extremely careful. By the way, it's a pity that we can't press these buttons. Oh no. This Freddy was able to come up to us and damage us. It's good that we managed to survive, because it seemed to me that he could kill us just by touching us. I hid behind this huge curtain because I don't have much HP, and I'm afraid that right now Freddy or Chica might appear from around the corner and suddenly kill me. Hooray! It looks like we managed to survive this elevator, and now we will head straight to the next floor. By the way, with the help of this spring, we really move much faster, but I don't understand why we collect all these strange keys. Oh no. We got to the next floor, and it looks like now we will have to hide from the clown Pennywise. By the way, here he is right here. He is behind these rusty bars, and now he will run after us. Oh no. He appeared, and now he is running after other players. 
It seems to me that those players who do not have the ability to speed up their movement speed have absolutely no chance to survive against him. I think these players should try to pick up as many coins as possible because with these coins they will definitely be able to buy themselves the ability to change their movement speed. By the way, not many players survived this round and we were very lucky because of this. Wait, did you hear that sound? Oh my god! That's Thomas the Tank Engine, and it looks like we're in for a really interesting challenge! Yeah, we're going to have to jump over that weird lava so we don't touch it, otherwise Thomas the Tank Engine will catch up with us and kill us. And by the way, it seems to me that we have a much better chance of passing this level because we're professionals at passing these kinds of challenges. And by the way, it looks like we're the only ones left with this girl! Cool! We are really the only players who were able to pass this test without touching the lava. Okay, it was pretty easy and I am very happy that we are now really considered one of the coolest players here because no one else could do it. Wait, don't tell me that. Oh no, it's Saw. Do you remember those movies? Oh my God, I think those are the scariest movies in the world. I'm really, really scared of them. Okay, now we need to find a way to escape from this guy. And by the way, he managed to touch us once, but it's good that this guy doesn't do much damage. Otherwise he would have killed us right away. We ran to some very strange room, and now we better stay here because the saw is running around this whole strange tunnel and trying to kill other players. Okay, it seems to me that this room is some kind of safe zone, and we really better stay here until all this is over. That's a great idea. We really better stay here and wait until this guy stops hunting us. God, that really was one of the scariest floors. We're so lucky we made it through, and right now, we're heading to the next floor. I'm really scared of what we might meet on the next floor because all the bosses in this game scare me. They really look extremely creepy. By the way, monsters that we will see in this game constantly appear on this screen. And right now, it's some strange white guy with black eyes whose name I don't know. Okay, let's just run along these corridors and collect all the coins. It seems to me that these coins will be very useful for us. The only thing that scares me is the fact that these corridors are extremely dark, and this monster can appear very unexpectedly for us. I am also very much afraid that this guy can appear from around the corner, but it seems to me that today this is the last floor that we have passed with you, and now it is high time to go straight to the next game. It looks like this game will be somehow connected with that very game! Wait! We've played something like this before! Is it really possible that one of these music dudes will be the killer here? I wouldn't be so surprised by that, actually. Have you even seen what they look like? Oh my god. You were right. There's this white music guy running around at the very bottom with a knife, and it looks like he's killing other players. I think we need to be extremely careful around him. And by the way, we were able to get some boosts at spawn, thanks to which we move as fast as possible. Okay, now we need to find where this killer hid from us. We are really moving as fast as possible, and it surprises me a lot. Okay, but I am also surprised by the fact that we can't find the killer. Oh, by the way, here he is. Look. All this time he was hiding right behind the stairs, and now he is running right after us. Oh my god. This guy caught up with us and killed us. Anything but that. It looks like we'll lose all the boosts we bought before. Apparently there's some kind of currency in this game, but unfortunately we don't know how much money we have. This is a big oversight from the developers of this game. I think we should explore this area better now. It's quite possible that there are some secret items here somewhere that we haven't found yet, and I think now is the time to head to the barn. I really hope that this barn will actually have some useful items. By the way, just look! There are pitchforks here, but unfortunately it looks like we can't use them. Okay, apparently there are no items here. Rather, this room serves as a shelter from this killer. It looks like this killer has found another target and is now chasing other players. Okay, I think we should try to inspect all the nearby objects that are here. By the way, it looks like there is a huge carrot harvest here. It's a pity that we can't add this carrot to our inventory. By the way, just look, there is a huge grain storage here. But it looks like this grain storage also serves only as a shelter from this killer. Okay, well... I think we should get out of here and try to explore other locations. Maybe there will be something useful in them. By the way, don't you think it's weird that we call a murderer a singing dude? I think it would be much more humane if we called him Sprunky, which is what he's really called. But it seems to me that no one cares what his name is. To be honest, I wouldn't care at all about the name of the guy who runs after us with a knife. By the way, just take a look. 
It seems that the only thing left in this game that I can interact with here is this strange ring. It looks like it was some kind of decorative element of one of these buildings, but apparently the developers did a very poor job of creating their 3D models, and now these rings are just lying on the ground. By the way, they fly away from us in a very funny way when we touch them. Don't you think it's strange that in this game the funniest thing for us to do is kick this strange ring? And by the way, now that it's under this gazebo, it seems to me that no one else will be able to get it out of there. It's good that there's a second ring here that we can continue playing with. Let's try to take this ring directly to the killer! Maybe he will become kinder because of this and will not want to kill us! Oh no, it seems that he does not like this ring and he began to try to kill other players, but apparently he is not aggressive towards us. I hope he won't turn on us after he kills the other players. By the way, just look how far that ring flew. Oh no, now he's running after us, and now we need to find shelter from him ASAP. I think we should run towards those buildings we haven't been to yet, because it's simply impossible to enter those houses. By the way, just look. It looks like someone had a campsite here and they left two tents here. Okay, I think we can hide from this killer here. But I think now this killer will be lying in wait for us near the exit. Just look! This guy jumped on our tent from above and now he is waiting for us to leave here in order to kill us. I really hope that one of the players will come to our aid and help us get out of here. It seems to me that without the help of other players, it will be simply impossible for us to get out of here. This guy repeats all our actions and it seems he really wants to kill us. I hope that he will not succeed. At least for this, we need to stay in this tent and not leave it. Looks like we'll have to sit here forever because no other players are rushing to help us. Wait, Jax, did you really decide to change tents? Wow, just look. Looks like another player came here and looks like we can run out of this tent. And that player will stay there and the killer will only hunt for her. This means we can continue exploring this area. 